following podcast is most likely unlistenable, unintelligible, inarticulate, and problematic, and will probably ruin your day. But if you have any pity in your big red heart, you'll listen to these four handsome boys. Please, bro. Please. They need this so bad. Please, bro. Just listen. Do you think, like, one guy just has all the white rhinos? Like, not like he didn't kill them, but, like, he had just has them. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there's... I think once, like, uh, I think once more and more animals run out, we're gonna find out just how many people have been hiding these, <laughs> these, these like rhinos and elephants, yeah, or tigers in their like in their homes. Mansions. Some mansions just hiding. Some guy's gonna be like, "Oh, you were looking for these? These are endangered? No, no, no. Yeah. I have them right here. Exactly. Well, I have thousands. Reminds Even me my... of. A... No, go on. I was just gonna say. Yeah, it reminds me of a tiger farm. Reminds me of a story that Basie has. <laughs> There's an episode of Kenny vs. Penny where they have to wear a gorilla suit. <laughs> Who can wear a gorilla suit the longest? And Spenny <laughs> is doing an informational uh, video. Like, he's using the the show to platform awareness about the disappearance of, like, silverback gorillas and how, like... That's hilarious. Uh, and, uh, and then he's, like, literally crying about it. And one of the camera guys is like, dude... They like found thousands of them. He's Where like, were what? They? He's, He's like, like, yeah, man. They like, like just they, now, dude. They just found like a hidden grove of like thousands of silverback gorillas. He's like, really? He's like, yeah. You sound really stupid right now. <laughs> You're an idiot. Have you ever cry about an animal? Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> so I think there's just a hidden grove of like white rhinos That's and like true. elephants and shit. Yeah. Probably. We haven't explored that much of the ocean yet, so there no. <laughs> might be there. <laughs> That's like the Atlantis. most optimistic fucking biologist of all time. It's like, well, you know, there's so much fucking ocean. It's not discovered. <laughs> there might be some white rhinos. There might there. be some white you rhinos, some, some dodo birds, some fucking <laughs> small bird that went extinct. That Tasmanian tiger. Yeah, Tasmanian there. tigers. Dude. Those things are scary, dude. Those I would, make, if I saw a real. whole bunch of them, their entire species in one room, I would gas the whole room. <laughs> they're, they're too There's scary to be left it. alive. Uh, they're like weird horror creatures, dude. Exactly, disgusting. What do you need a What do you need a Tasmanian tiger for though? Like, what do you need to kill it for though? Like, just what are you making? Like, a, they're not that big. Uh, uh, like, like, you know, like shark fin soup. Yeah, uh, it was like, like uh, Tasmanian tiger fin soup. That's big in tiger leg soup. soup. So they take the legs off and make the soup and then throw yeah, the alive keep... Tasmanian tiger <laughs> yeah. back into the to like, jungle. To like wiggle away, you know? Like snakes. That's how snakes yeah, exactly. were made. They were like really delicious lizards. <laughs> All their legs kept getting eaten. Exactly. You guys... Eating them. Did you guys know that no one knows where eels come from. Like, no one's ever really seen eels mate. Like, eels just spawn. Someone knows. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, knows. Someone knows. Nobody knows. I, I, knows. I know, but I'm not telling you guys. Dude, exactly. eels, they just, uh, they just multiply. Dude. I'm pretty they sure that's true. Oh, no, and that's they come true. from the uh, Bermuda Triangle. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. Welcome back to Post Unavailable. It's the podcast for pirates of the Bermuda Seas by pirates. I'm of course. We weren't talking by... about pirates. You could well, have said Bermuda said, like, Triangle. Marine it's biologists. like just marine themed, like ocean themed. Anyways, here's, here's, here's fucking March and Babel. Here's March and Babel. Hey guys. Uh, I know Carol. where eels come from. Okay, I was. I'm... Oh, I'm Johnny Depp from uh, Pirates of the Bermuda Tri- Triangle. Mm-hmm. The Matthew Coser. Yeah, I think the One Piece was actually the e- the finding out how eels mate. That kind of sounds like two people know where eels come from, Marchin. So, yeah, I, I like said that. I said someone knows. I didn't say only one person knows. Some people know where eels come from. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by some people? <laughs> <laughs> Eel people. <laughs> of course, Noah Friesen, local racist of marine life. <laughs> I guess I would be like I don't know if I was a, a marine biologist. The Bermuda Triangle. 
<laughs> yes, the one place you're allowed to be racist. <laughs> they actually don't know where racists come from. They actually spawn in the Bermuda Triangle and just take <laughs> rowboats out into the seas. I would be biased if I was a marine biologist, though. I would like, I don't know, there's certain things I would just not want to learn about or take care of or study. Like, I don't give a shit. About, like, what Like what more do we need to know about fucking dolphins? We know everything. Yeah. We know too much, actually, I would say. It's true. I would argue. Too much about we, dolphins. We can, we can kind of just, just chuck them. We can kill all the dolphins now. We don't really need them. Finally. Would a, would a marine biologist, like, study alligators? No, that's controversial, actually. <laughs> they, alligators uh, aren't marine. Well, yeah, they go in the water, dude. That's... Are you a semi-aquatic biologist? I don't think so. That leave it to them, you know. True. That'd be more of a marine is ocean. Yeah. No. They have crocodiles in the ocean. The ocean. Yeah. yeah. Are there, aren't there so which water... ocean? Which ocean? The All water fucking, crocodiles. You know the I think, like uh, the Indian uh, and shit. Yeah, I think I thought so, but I don't crocodile know. Crocodile ocean. Yeah. No we shit. were okay. We weren't talking about crocodiles. We were talking about alligators. No, that's fair. That's what? True. Shut that's up, true. dude. That's They're the true. same thing. That would be, that'd be oh, an interesting divide, God. though. If if crocodiles were in marine biology and alligators <laughs> were, yeah, that, that's the reason marine. they split them up. It's all people. It's all people that study. Uh, yeah, people that study alligators hate fucking crocodiles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> people that study crocodiles and people that study alligators, oh. like they just do not get along. And uh, don't get me started on people that study. Oh, you know what? I knew what they were fucking called. What are the alligators with, like, they look like joke clown animals. Like, they have the longest, skinniest snouts. They look like scissors. Yeah, they're, like, super, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's, like, yeah. bottle nose or something. A caiman. Like, I think, aren't they all called caimans? Isn't that just, like, the general thing? I think it's only the ones in the caimans. No. Yeah, like the caiman isles. This is an know. animal podcast. We always talk about animals. It's a, animals, good, animals, animals. Good topic. it's a good it's topic. It's like it's spelled like gay man, but with a C instead of the G. <laughs> Cayman. And that's and that's the most controversial <laughs> field of study of all time. Sorry, actually it's a C A Y, not C A I, I mean, not C A Y. So disregard. Gaming. See, I'm not a I'm not a marine biologist. I study um alligators. <laughs> You're I'm gonna kill everyone who says that anything about alligators. I cannot Although they are the most apex predator, they're literally no, they are that's literal crocodiles definitely. actually. But okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, but okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, L plus ratio plus your weight. Yeah, radio. The best <laughs> animals. Radioed. The best animals are any animal that was just in dinosaur times, exactly as they are now, but just bigger. Exactly. Yeah. Like crocodiles were in dinosaur times, but they were just bigger crocodiles. <laughs> sharks were just bigger sharks. Like, there weren't any fucking... <laughs> I was gonna say there weren't giant chimps, but there were giant chimps. There were fucking, in, like, oh, Ice Age time, like, there was giant Yeah, chimps. they were, like, giant sloths in that, too. Giant sloths. There were giant fucking armadillos. Yeah, armadillos are allowed. Why can't things be big anymore, dude? That sucks, man. That's Mega? Cool. I'll show big. you something big. <laughs> I'll my show ego. you something. Marshall will show you his mega fauna. Bro, hey, you, you don't even see... you don't even know what that means. You want to see my megafauna? Means, megafauna yeah, is big. Megafauna? They're big fucking uh, armadillos that would walk that's, around. That's not true. It that's is not true. true. That's, not true. that's not true. That's, that's not true. true. And they had big it's giraffes. Simply a big animal. Well, no, what is megafauna mega today animal, besides an elephant? Uh, whale, dude. A giraffe, whale, no, cow, giraffe. Rhino? Cows are Te cows are mid. Technically, technically, humans are megafauna. Horse. Oh, like humans megafauna. could be bigger. Humans could be bigger. I think we we could be bigger, but we're still megafauna. Tell that to Shaquille O'Neal. We're going to get bigger than that. What about, what about uh, uh, Andre the Giant, dude? Yeah. Well, they're. Uh, what, what do you want me to say? I'm saying how how can you say they're not? How can <laughs> they not be megafauna, dude? I said I said humans are megafauna. Am I arguing with you? How yes. what have I ever argued with you? Argue Maybe with your ego right is now, megafauna, dude. dude. Your ego really is megafauna. Yeah. There used to be mega. What am I, a liar? <laughs> what about the Nephilim? 
Shut up. That's not real. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dark Souls boss? Yeah. That's uh, who fucking David and Goliath was about. He had to throw a rock at a big man. Because we used to just have big guys back and in the old days. they called them Nephilims? Yeah, back in that Bible times. Racist. <laughs> I think it's derogatory. It's a big, like, speculative history thing where it's like, in, there's certain passages of the Bible that like aren't technically part of the Bible where they'll mention like that there used to be, they'll just mention crazy shit like there used to be huge men that were yeah, the dude, children of angels. There's tons of parts of the Bible that have been just destroyed over the years. There used to be a whole book of Judas. What? A what was it about? Last book of Judas, dude. Can't I cannot wait to betray I this can't guy. Wait. He was a there good guy, man. Ass. There used to be a whole ass guy. diary of Jane too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to Diary find of a wimpy dude. Judas. Diary of a wimpy yeah. apostle. <laughs> There's like pictures. There oh. used to be pictures in the Bible and then they lost them. Mm. Mm. I, like, I just want some money. I'm going to kill Jesus quite yeah. because I want some money. I want some money. Get him, Basie. Basie, slam Judas once for yeah, all. Take Judas a stance. Plus L, plus you killed yeah, Jesus radio. Christ. Plus Get radio. shit on your shitters. We're plus saying it here. Over. We're saying it here. <laughs> Judas was kind of a. Bad guy. He's kind of cringe. Hey, Judas, was, okay. was Judas problematic? <laughs> <laughs> is Judas <I> controversial? <laughs> Jesus is controversial friend. There's no way like you could have twelve friends and one of them not betray you. Yeah, that's true. Do you think Ben Shapiro? <laughs> uh, ben, <laughs> more like Ben Betrayo defends judas dude do you think yeah. oh man i want to argue with him dude be like how could you ever defend judas how wow you? technically you know because his name's jew okay. or he has jew in his name are Sorry. you being anti-semitic <laughs> are you being anti-semitic you're being semitic right now i'm no half because semitic. yeah no because he's he's jewish so he agrees with judas <laughs> with he's like, oh yeah. my yeah, god ben, ben shapiro Ben Shapiro would be like, well, actually, he killed a false prophet, so uh -huh. yeah, he is kind of lit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I've said this before, but, like, creationism is, like, low-key really cool. And I wish Honestly? it was real. I wish it was real. I wish creationism <laughs> was real. Because, like, having, like, Bible stuff happening while there's brontosauruses eating big trees off leaves in the background, that's fucking they sick. they didn't believe in that, dude, yeah. though. They, they thought that the behemoth. There's like creation. Isn't creationism like the behemoth was just a dinosaur walking around? When God is talking to Job about all the fucking animals, he's telling him no, about the dinosaurs. Behemoth is like I, uh, I've never read the Bible. They also say there's a dragon dude with a whore yeah. on its back, or it's a beast. Well, it's supposed to be a dragon. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, did you write this shit? Badass. Uh huh. Well, I just read it in the diary of Jane, dude. The, I just got the diary of the wimpy. The diary of Jane. The book of Revelations is like <laughs> that would be fucking scary. Do you think like the guy writing it was like, you know what would be fucking scary? If this happened. Yeah. If a bunch of horns just started going off and I don't know what a dragon with three heads and a dog with eight heads and Rip tiger with awesome. fucking twenty legs. Like, yeah, bro. What uh yeah, that would be scary. Yeah, I'm sure you're like, oh, this, this is the religion I want to listen to. It's got cool monsters. <laughs> that was that was the original Holy Wars. It was just whoever had the scariest monster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was basically just Pokemon battles. Uh huh. It was more like Chaotix, but with uh, religion. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, uh, Jesus Christ is my Chaotix character that I turn into. I think that'd be a good uh, good way to reboot that franchise. Chaotix. Chaotix. A great way to reboot Chaotix. Would you? Do you think people went to Chaotix, got their like invitation to go hang out at like the fucking mall or center where they would go battle Chaotix against each other? And then do you think they would just want to live in that world? Yeah, literally. Like, I don't know. I don't know why anyone would ever leave. You get too immersed in it, like fighting your friends as big ogres or whatever, and then you're like, I'm, I'm staying here. I feel all the pain and the like every piece of feeling that my big fucking ogre is feeling. So I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. This is awesome, dude. I'm not going just... back to the mall. Yeah, I need to find some, some ogre bitches. bitches living as an other kin. Uh huh. Exactly. Like chaotic skin. This is this is what I experience every day as an other kin. 
Exactly. As a chaotic skin. Stop uh stop devaluing Matt's not... lived experiences, dude. Exactly. As a chaotic skin. I'm just jealous. Honestly. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, you would be. You would be jealous. Plus L. Plus, plus you're white, L. dude. How many seasons did they do that fucking show? Because it like I feel like everyone was in it for like a hot month and then everyone just stopped watching it because it was like I don't know, it was animated like remember sixteen? Yeah. It just looked it looked like sixteen, but it was kind of poo-poo animation. For a while it was kind of competing with fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and right shit. Everyone wanted to be chaotix. Uh Uh-huh. I was gonna be I don't think that's true. I didn't really want to be a chaotic. It was the Pokemon killer. It was really. the Pokemon killer, and you guys don't even know. That's what everyone says about Chaotix. Is at least the, the at least the Bakugan killer. Yeah, like, yeah, because um, Bakugan fucking sucked. Nah, everyone was into Bakugan. I was like, not yeah. into Bakugan. What was that? A one, the bell, something. bell, something Zatch saved bell? by the bell. No. Zatch oh, bell? Zatch, Zatch bell. bell, dude. Yeah, I wanted to be Zatch, Zatch bell. I wanted a little. You kind of look like the main. Zatch Bell character. <laughs> I wanted, I want a little dude, and I want a little book, and I want to burn the other guy's book and kill their friend. Dude. Yeah, that it was, was about Zatch Bell. Yeah, it was, it was like it was like Pokemon, but for harder pedophiles. It was like hardcore Pokemon. It was, it was a Nuzlocke, dude. <laughs> it, was, it was yeah, it was real it was life. Po- it was Pokemon, but your your fighter was a little kid. <laughs> so you made like little kids. Eat the shit out of each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they had powers and magic. Well, they're little puppet guys. They That's look cool. like kids. oh, true. They're like yeah, puppets. they're they are puppets. I remember. I uh, I think like they're airing one episode of it late. Like I was not allowed to be up. I should not have been up watching this show. But they were airing like a Zatch Bell marathon on fucking like it was either like YTV or some fucking back ass channel that Canada had that was playing anime for some reason, and. uh yeah, I was just watching a bunch of Zatch Bell. I'm like, this is fucking awesome. And then I didn't even remember what it was. I could not. It was like a, uh, oh, like a memory deep inside me for a long time until I think like I think our friend Tolu was the first one. Was like, have you ever seen Zatch Bell? And I'm like, oh my fucking god. That does not surprise me. That does sound like something that Tolu would have watched. A show about little kids fighting yeah. each other. Yeah, no, Tolu, Tolu definitely watches the most abstract like anime that I've never heard of. Mid the two thousand in general just had a lot of shit. I mean, like YTV True. would always have like I, I feel like every channel used to have a weird block where they would just show wild shit. Like Teletoon would always Teletoon had like Teletoon Retro where it'd be like we're gonna show Yogi Bear for six <laughs> hours until like seven a.m. YTV would show anime. Yeah, no, that's true. Family oh, right. Channel would show movies with like nudity in it. What? Oh my god! No, I like. Know. Oh my old. god. Sorry, okay. uh, yeah, what movie? What movie is this? What Nudity? are you talking about? Honey, are I you even listening it. to what you're I heard, saying? I heard nudity. Family Channel would play movies with nudity in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what, what, what? what's the name of these movies, just so I yeah. know to avoid them? Yeah, when uh, uh, Dad Nap, uh, Hannah Montana, the movie, um, <laughs> Catch That Kid. Bad Nap. Bad nap. Bad nap. Bad nap is what you have when you're trying to go to sleep and Zatch Bell comes on. <laughs> and it's 4 a.m. in the morning. I remember, like, that's how I would, like, find out about anime. I'd be like, what the fuck is this? I remember, like, Inu Asha would come on. Yeah, like, you can't say that, that, dude. Like, 4 a.m. I love Inu Asha. Uh, uh, <laughs> you love wait, it? I love Inu Asha, dude. When it was a new moon, like, Aim Toro. Got, like, superpowers. Yeah, like Ham Toro. Yeah, yeah, I loved Ham Toro. Oh my god, Dude, that was the that was the first ever time that I was like, man, I abandoned this world. Who wants to live in this world when I can live in the yeah. Ham Toro world? I oh, why can't I just have a pet hamster that uh, talks to other hamsters and does cool things? Lives in, a tree. Lives, in a tree. lives in a tree sometimes, dude. I feel like any show could could have done that. I feel yeah. <laughs> like you could have. I feel like a lot of fucking cartoon worlds are the same as that uh-uh they're not as cool as ham toro true no one you see good. that they're adding uh garfield to nickelodeon smash bros i did he's the <laughs> he's the first dlc <laughs> character for nickelodeon voiced by chris smash pratt, bros. <laughs> I I, pratt and it's voiced by no one 
um, because that game doesn't have voice lines in it. It doesn't? Oh, that's bullshit. You'd you think for Garfield. It. I know, right? They'd get, like, at least Chris Pratt or Lorenzo uh, Music or Bill Murray ooh. to voice Garfield again. Yeah. Oh, Will Smith? <laughs> or Will Smith. Yeah, Will Is Nickelodeon... Smith. Uh, I guess they own Garfield. I didn't know that. I, can, like, I guess so. There used to be a really shitty... 3D animated Garfield show that would come on and like I remember that show. Yeah, it would come on like Sunday yeah. mornings where the rejects go to die. I watched that show. That was a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing conflicting things. What was so what would what got you in, immersed in the Garfield show? Um, was like this is engaging. I think, I think it was just because I'd seen it like as a comic in the newspaper. So I was yeah. like so I was like, "Oh, this so I I what I thought was oh this is where the newspaper comic came from yeah this 3D <laughs> animated show yeah exactly yeah. hearing on white TV like, oh, very interesting very very interesting this is where this is where these newspapers came from that I heard so much about all right everyone this, it was a good show I feel like everyone has a favorite piece of Garfield content because there's so much to go around like I think mine would definitely be Garfield Kart the game have you ever played it. Yeah, you collect Where? puzzle pieces. When? No, you, no, you don't. That's Banjo Kazooie. Do you think I'm stupid? What Banjo has the fucking IP they, hold on puzzle pieces? They're called oh. Jiggies. Yeah, they're called Jiggies. First of all, oh, they're Are called you? Jiggies in Garfield. In Garfield, <laughs> Garfield, they call them Jiggies. They call them Jiggies for Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> TM. I don't I'm know how they you. got away with it. <laughs> Which one are you guys more of a like Garfield OG movie or a Tale of Two Kitties? Oh, I'm always a Tale of Two Kitties. I mean, just the title alone is so funny. Like, how can you not? How can that not be? Oh, I get it. It's a pun. Over? Yeah. I bet the just... third one would have would have had a pussy pun. <laughs> yeah, it would have been like it's pussy <laughs> pussy mobile. Yeah, they should have. Yeah, they should have had no jokes in it. Which is actually yeah, Garfield's main car pussy. in Garfield Kart. It's called the Pussy Mobile. A pussy Mobile. I don't believe you. The Garfield. There's so much. To, it's such an easy character to write for, because it's like he loves lasagna. He hates Mondays. He hates John. He hates. Uh, I hate girl. John. He hates the girl character. He hates Odie the dog. Yeah. He's just an asshole, but he's a piece of sh real piece of shit. Huh. If I'm honest, you know, even like the even in the 3D animated show, he was a real piece of shit. He hated normal, mm -hmm. and they always want to show you what John is doing. Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, don't show me John. That's true, actually. I do remember that from the from the animated <laughs> show. Is that whenever yeah. John was was like doing shit at work and that or showing him like coming home it was like i don't need to see yeah, this showing him i want to know what garfield's doing <laughs> showing showing him his girlfriend. Yeah. camera back to garfield please yeah where's garfield at dude uh -huh. fuck john garfield uh garfield sucks though garfield sucks it's shitty it's the worst he doesn't do anything it's just a cat like, that doesn't want to do anything it's like fucking you know, you know marmaduke you yeah know marmaduke that's a good dog. good film I got it, first of all. Marmaduke's just a big dog. That's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah. People just, just like a... big dogs. I guess so. People They're like make... They just make shit. They don't make bullshit. They're doing a sequel to the fucking Clifford the Big Red Dog live action movie. Oh, Good. A movie that I didn't even Why know came they? out yet. I guess. Well, that's, that sounds like your problem because I, for one, love that movie. Yeah, what was and your and and I'm planning to go see it very soon. It's my favorite movie of all time, and I can't wait to see it. That's true. Why didn't we see it in theaters? Uh, probably because COVID. I think I was busy that day. Yeah, I was busy the day, the one day Clifford the Big Red Dog was playing. I bet it yeah. came out recently. It did. The um last yeah. week. I don't know if they kept the origin of Clifford though, which I think was like didn't didn't the girl love him so much that he grew really big and red. He was bit by a radioactive dog. Big red dog. Uh, which is unexplained. <laughs> <laughs> we no one knows where the original big red dog came from, but it's true. We'd like to find out. Well how is, is that the uh, the movie? Do you know? Huh? Do you know why he grows so big in the movie? 
I don't know. Maybe I could find a plot synopsis. I imagine that the movie could be about nothing other than like the government trying to kill him, right? Uh-huh. Like, like how the Incredible you... Hulk movie. Yeah, yeah, it'd be like the Incredible Hulk. He has to fight. Clifford has to fight his dad in the sky or whatever the fuck happens <laughs> <laughs> in that movie. Oh shit. Clifford... shit! And just like in the Hulk, where the Hulk fights those three big like mutated dogs oh, yeah. in yeah. the trees. Clifford has to fight three mutated humans in the trees. Oh, I thought you were saying Clifford has to fight three little hulks. Oh, to try to kill yeah. him. No, that's better. That's better. Three little hulks. That's they're that's good. They're mutated by like three evil girls that loved them so much. Yeah, they were, like, exactly. people. Three girls that I hated mean, that hated them so much. If you hate a dog so much, it turns into the scary dogs from Incredible Hulk. It's Clifford wow. the Big Red to- Big Red Dog Showtimes. Uh, there's a show tonight. Oh no, it's playing in Kitchener at four ten p.m. If you guys want to go see that tomorrow in the VIP theater, oh, shout oh, out. I would, but yeah, but I've you know. I'm already seeing. Things. You're already seeing Clifford the Big Red Dog. Yeah. In another in another theater. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I no. typed it. I'm reading the Wikipedia. Uh, entry for Clifford the Big Red Dog the movie and immediately my eye is drawn to it was ultimately pull, it was supposed to be played at a festival that got, it was supposed to play at TIFF sorry the Toronto Film Festival um, it was delayed due to COVID uh, but was all, and then it says it was ultimately pulled from the festival and had its release date removed from Paramount schedule due to the spread of the SARS-CoV-2 Delta variant that's right in the first line of the Clifford the Big Red Dog Family feature, wow! Movie, the maybe fuck? like to say it was delayed. Do you think um, Clifford SARS COVID two Delta? Okay, I, uh, yeah, I think they just came out with a new Clifford book. Uh, Clifford gets <laughs> SARS cov two. <laughs> Clifford gets Delta put variant. down. <laughs> the doctor loading a giant syringe onto a truck. <laughs> uh huh. No, we don't. We don't want the we don't want the virus to spread between dogs. I think that was a, a robot has... chicken joke where they put down because <laughs> it's really it's really funny. So that's true. They gotta they gotta keep doing it. Um, that's actually a good idea though. We should just start watching robot chicken videos and, and like breaking down the bits, like joke explained. I no, I was gonna say we just steal the bits. Oh, we could just steal. Yeah, it. I mean, I, just, yeah, we can just say them as if they're around. We've already established that this is an anti Seth Green podcast. So <laughs> yeah. Seth Green. I think that would be on brand. Seth um, Green gonna be who's gonna be fucking Donkey Kong, dude? dude Seth <laughs> that's Seth yeah. Rogan. Oh whatever. Seth Green is the voice of uh Howard the Duck and Chris Griffin. Oh so, shit. To, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm reading the the Wikipedia synopsis of Clifford the Big Red Dog. And the, I mean it's basic standard stuff. The first two paragraphs are talking about how Clifford is really big and disruptive because he's so big and it's like funny how big he is. Um, and then it says, Zach Tieran, the owner of a biotechnology company <laughs> named Life Bro, discovers Clifford on social media. He lies to put the police that it's his dog and has them search for Clifford. So I was fucking right. They're, <laughs> they're going to shoot and push Clifford, put Clifford down. You have to kill him. Um, Clifford That's is crazy. captured on the ship and sent to Life Bro. Uh, blah 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 blah. It's true. That is what happens when you tell the police it's your dog too. They're yeah. immediately, they immediately are like, "All right, we gotta kill this dog." This I guess told us, he told us he told us he about his dog. Us. I'm assuming he just wants us to kill it. Let's go. The it ends with Emily, Casey, and her mother are accepted back into the apartment by Mr. Packard. Casey gets a job at Scholastic, and Clifford is now loved by everyone. It's so good for him. I wish more yeah, movies. No, that's untrue. <laughs> that's not true. There's definitely someone who hates Clifford. <laughs> I the fucking hate dog. Clifford, dude. I'm pissed. Really? Everyone loves Clifford. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure everyone loves Clifford? Yeah. Who is he? Who, who is he? Raymond? Exactly. There's no way. I already have yes, all my heart and Raymond. love <laughs> is taken up by Ray Romano. Yeah. Who the I don't know if I have I room for is, Clifford. Huh? <laughs> Do you think he's Ray Romano? That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> How did Clifford the Big Red Dog get so big? How did Clifford get How so big? How did Clifford big? die? Why is Clifford big and red? Why is Clifford the dog red? According to Scholastic, Bridwell said the only reason he chose red is because that was the paint color he had readily available. 
Fuck you. It's a piece that's, of shit. That's not, ex- that's not a an shitty in- answer. That's not yeah, an in canon explanation. Different. Piece of fucking shit. Uh huh. Clifford the Big Red Dog should be a tragedy. I think they're kind of cowards for not being a, having it be he grows so big that they have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? I'm telling you. Eventually, this is a Clifford robot will chicken you. skit. It can't be. It can't be. It's literally a robot chicken skit. Robot chicken. <laughs> Clifford, oh you fuck! You gotta find that. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, man. There's two. There's two I've of them. I've seen it. I've seen it. There's Clifford sketch, robot chicken, Clifford the really big red dog. Fuck. <laughs> Seth Green's got us a fucking again. He's got our fucking number, dude. <laughs> we gotta stop making jokes about like things that exist. This is why I, we always have to pivot towards like animals and like killing alligators and white rhinos and shit. Because like. Every joke about IP has already been done. Yeah, you know? well, that doesn't mean that doesn't matter. Uh, you I said so IP. Many... <laughs> See, like that. How many times has that been? Has that joke been done? <laughs> has Robot Chicken done that? Let me check Robot Chicken real quick and see if they did an IP joke. Oh my oh, god! No. Yeah, me P two actually. <laughs> I want to. How fucked would Robot Chicken be if someone broke into the studio and stole all their toys? <laughs> Like, what would Maybe they do? Toys. It's live action. Oh, what? Well, they it's just... animated, right? It's not stop animation. What do you mean? It's not. They're not real toys. What do you mean? They are real toys. What are you talking about? What? On Robot Chicken? Yeah. Do you think they stop animate all of the episodes? <laughs> yes. They, do you think they, they look do. like that? You think that's what they do, dude? They used to at some point. If, you're, if you have some hidden knowledge, I'm telling you right now, they used to make it stop motion. They control it with a power glove. I remember seeing behind the scenes. They have a power glove uh, uh, that moves yeah. them around in stop oh. motion. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. Dude. Basie, you don't have a power glove? Is Robot Chicken stop motion? Uh-huh. Is Robot you, Chicken still going? You don't know about the Robot Chicken Infinity Gauntlet? Robot Chicken stop farting. <laughs> Can Robot Chicken stop what? farting? <laughs> <laughs> It is stop motion. You're fucking. You're yanking my chain. You know. You're just like. You are just like Seth Green. Are you crazy, dude? They make every episode, eleven seasons. Sure, they, they make motion. every episode eleven seasons. Seth yeah, they Green, have a. They have a stock puppet. One they episode is eleven seasons long. They have puppets, dude. Uh-huh. So you want me Robot Chicken is an American adult animated, animated stop motion. Yeah, yeah that's still the. the the stop motion characters are animated on the screen, basically, because they're like moving around. So they're not real. They are real. They have them in the studio. They have the little toys there for us to. They see. have the toys. In touch. I'm gonna steal oh. the toys. They keep saying stop motion animated show, dude. Yeah, because it is. So they have to have the little. It doesn't toys. make any sense. How do you have something that's stop motion and animated? The stop motion is it's called stop motion animation by using stop motion. It means there's a stop and then motion. Stop and motion. It's filmed in stops and motion. Yeah, I, I think it's just a type of animation. Why are you so pro Seth Green? Yeah, I think it's, I think I'm it's not, a type of animation. Must, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pro I Seth am. Green. I'm saying they're shit and they don't do stop animation. I think they do. I don't think this. I don't think Seth being, you right now are being pro Seth Green. Is I'm go? talking shit about him. I'm saying he's shit and he can't do that. <laughs> and you're saying no, no, he's really good. He does all of his every episode is actually stop animated. I'm I saying would never that say those words. I would you, never say that's what you're saying. He's very though. good. <laughs> you are saying you are saying he animates it all himself. Yeah, you're saying I'm saying. saying his team sucks, and everybody who works <laughs> on it sucks, and they don't do it's real true, stop animation. Dude. And you're saying, so the fuck up, I love Seth Green. Uh-huh. Why are you such a big shill for stop motion animation? I'm not. You literally are. You are being that right now. Look at this guy with the power glove, though. I was right. Let me see. Let me see. This, this verifies that I'm right. This guy works on Robot Chicken. And he uses the power glove to animate it. Oh, they're faking. I'm going <laughs> to go in there. Fuck. I'm going to up. I'm going to go mess up all that shit all their trees and shit i and i would stuff. do that i would just, it's like when people take pictures of their food and then their fucking buddy will put their hand and mesh up their food i'm gonna do that but with for stop motion 
So like next time they're filming like a Coraline movie, I'm gonna go and just squish all the clay models' head. I would squish <laughs> Wallace and Gromit's head so hard. <laughs> I would slap Wallace and Gromit straight into the fucking stage where they're filming them. That's what you fucking get. <laughs> That's what you get for being fucking creepy and oh. scary. What do you get when you cross uh clay animation and Tim Burton? You get what you fucking deserve. That's me breaking Jack Skellington's arms. <laughs> yeah, I, I his, snap him in half. Pulling his little tiny arms off. Get what you fucking deserve. I'm gonna throw Kill that. Him. I'm gonna throw that puppet into a real fucking fire. Oh, funny fake fire for your fake fucking. Yeah, I'll show movie. you. I'll show you. Have a real fire. Yeah, this is this yeah. is Halloween. This is Halloween. Just <laughs> smashing all their models, ripping up all the <laughs> models, throwing them into a big dumpster. Exactly. Tim Burton is just watching you do it. I'd sue him for false for false advertising by pr- using fake fire. A lot of the budget for stop motion movies goes into the security team that their job is to stop bullies <laughs> from getting onto the studio. Because <laughs> they have a huge problem with a lot of just like a pontoon full of bu- bullies going to the oh, studio like shit out of those nerds and like beating there. up the directors and them. ripping apart all their fucking little models. Fantastic Mr. Fox got delayed by seven years because mm-hmm. a bunch of bullies went and kicked fucking sand all over true? the models. No. Yeah, that's dude. a good movie. That is true, dude. That really hey, well, it's a good movie now because they had a lot of time to work at it after <laughs> a bunch of bullies went and ripped up all the fur off the foxes and <laughs> took all their t- miniature motorcycles and stepped on them. <laughs> they threw them on the roof. How fucked would you be if someone roofed the fucking <laughs> Mr. Fox puppet? I like just go it. get the I just get the janitor to uh, go up <laughs> on the roof the and get it back for it down. me. I'll sit down. Yeah. There's a janitor at like the fucking Hollywood lot in LA that just throws down movie props that bullies come and throw up on the roof. It's just like lightsabers and fucking Infinity Gauntlets, Indiana Jones's hat. He's just pissed off. One pissed off janitor just throwing balls off the roof. Uh-huh. Just throwing it all off. Everyone gets to just go and grab it, grab whatever they want. Do you think that's like, what makes it worth it to be an elementary school janitor? Like, yes. what makes all the cleaning, the vomit, and yeah. fucking cleaning shit off the walls worth it to go up on the roof and just fucking become king for a day? That and all the kids are like, all the kids are like, he's on the roof! He's yeah. throwing our balls down! And then, like, you have to run over because your friend, uh-huh. your friend always boots the fucking ball onto the goddamn <laughs> fucking roof when you're playing soccer, and you're like, we literally don't have any soccer balls left. Like exactly. every time we play with you, you kick the ball so hard and it goes so high, it goes all the way onto the fucking roof. You this asshole. is fun, right? Like, I need us now. Yeah, I need it. I need it. I need my ball back. I need my ball back. And then we get our ball back, or even better yet, a grade eight takes your ball. And then what do you do, <laughs> dude? You're in grade seven, or even worse, you're in grade six. It's like, what are you gonna do? Now, you're, now you're some fucking asshole took your ball. Yeah, you booted and then the ball it onto the roof. Like, oh, this is fun now, like, not doing anything for recess, because the one uh, thing that we had to use is just absolutely gone. Awesome. That was... Just... It's fucking crazy that, like, if you're a little kid, and you're, like, playing a red butt, or with a ball, or whatever, there's a pretty high chance that if you don't get your... If your ball is grounded for more than just a little bit, if you don't get your ball right away, a bigger kid is gonna get your ball... And just uh, because it's like just the law of the jungle, they're gonna throw it onto the roof. Like you're fucked. You yeah. can't do I anything. Think that ever that. happened to us though? Oh, it happened to us. I would do it. <laughs> That's so obviously, up. once you reach that that position, That's like, so well, now I'm up. bigger. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is exactly. your ball. <laughs> you throw kids' balls onto the roof. Hell dude. yeah, dude. Up. Hell you're like, yeah. This yeah. happened to me, and now it's happening to you. No, dude. Hell Man. yeah. Oh my Fuck god, that's so fucking... Fuck one time, one time, we were playing... I can't remember what we were playing. We were playing soccer, I guess. And um, and we're kicking the ball, whatever, and there was nobody on the pavement. I don't know why. Oh, There's buddy. nobody there, except for one kid. And yep. we're k- kicking the ball and shit, and the fucking... The, that one kid, he boots the fucking ball, but he boots it into, like, the basketball court. So, like, nowhere, right? Like, yeah. nobody's there. Everybody's in the grass or whatever. And it's just one kid. We see this ball go up, and it's like coming down. We're like, "There's no way it hits that kid. There's no way it hits that kid." Uh-huh. And the fucking ball goes down and lands straight on this kid's fucking head. 
and like absolutely dazes him, almost knocks him to the ground. And we were, and all he sees is all these kids laughing at him. But like we weren't laughing at him getting hit with the ball. We were laughing at like how astronomical the fucking odds were that this uh, one kid in the middle of the pavement gets hit with the fucking ball. <laughs> if anything, he should be like impressed. He should be happy. He should say nice shot. Part of this miracle. Oh right. my god. It was the... insane. It was so funny. We were, and like we ran up and we're like, dude, are you okay? But like we're still laughing. We're like, dude, are you okay? And he's like, Yeah, man, I'm fine. And he just walks away. We were so we felt so bad about it. But it was insane that it happened. Oh my god. That's I mean, I'll tell you a similar story <laughs> that Oh at, uh, yeah, but it's gonna be horrible. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, we I mean our yeah. the equivalent to that was that uh, the red butt wall that we would play on, where we would throw a tennis ball at yeah, the wall. All the sad the kids butt, would be there. Yeah. Be the, it was also the sad wall. It was the yeah. same wall where if you were sad and your friends were mean to you, or people were just mean to you, you'd go to the, the sad yeah, wall. So you throw <laughs> balls at the sad, sad. kids. Dude. So we we were trying to throw them. tennis balls no, at no. The sad we were kids. Whipping. <laughs> you know, some of the kids, some Sometimes. of the kids would be like. Oh, I fucking hate that that <laughs> sad kid. I hate that kid. Nobody likes him. I'm going to whip the, this tennis ball at his fucking head so hard, dude. I'm going yeah, to make me. him cry, dude. I'm going to give him something to cry about. That's what I mean. <laughs> Redbutt was like the most dangerous dude. game because shit would always happen when you're playing Redbutt. But I think like we would just become addicted to it because it's it's Redbutt. It's it's horse, right? You throw the ball at the wall. Uh -huh. uh, if you what is it? If you miss the wall, everyone has to run to the wall. And if you're the last one there, you get a letter. Yeah. Right? Yes. And every one of these games, Red Butt, Red Rover. I don't know why they're all fucking red, but they all got yeah. banned very quickly at my school. <laughs> uh -huh. Extremely quickly. And while they were getting banned at my school, I feel like they were being fucking encouraged at yours. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. because our school would, I think our school would let, uh, would let certain games and sports like go a little they're like let's let's just see where this goes like some kid yeah, would get like cause... really badly injured and be like i think we can we can do one more we can do it worse than this some kid like broke his arm like uh, let's you know it's not a death let's wait and find out yeah yeah fuck around find out dude uh-huh oh, whatever let's see how far we can go with injuring these children Exactly. Both emotionally yeah. and physically. Yeah, same with the ice. They let they let us play on the ice for way too long at our school. Dude. Oh, no, they let teacher, everyone except us play on the ice. Every Didn't teacher, me? every teacher at that school should be in jail. 100%. <laughs> None of that shit should have ever happened. None of that shit should have been accepted. They should have moved. Nobody should have been body slammed onto the ice. Nobody's True. face or nose should have been broken, okay, coward, and then coward. and then the teacher be like, "You're in trouble because your nose is broken." Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's true. You shouldn't have broken your nose. Yeah, told you maybe. not to play on the ice. Told you, <laughs> told you, dude. But, I honest to god, uh, if uh, they been... if listen, if your school was in America, I don't know, man. I don't know. All I'm saying is, listen. We should have made that a, supposed to mean. Um, I I think basically saying that our school would have been the one that got shot up or something. It's, it's yeah, yeah, I think that's probably right. If it was in America, yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent actually, that would have happened because you guys were like that school was so fucked up, literal like prison planet. Nah, school. yeah, they should have just moved. They should have moved the sad wall. I think that would have fixed a lot of the issues. That's true. They just gave us another wall. They Not that hard. Given, wall. They should have just given the sad kids tennis balls to throw back. <laughs> That's what they should have done. They should have armed the sad violence. Kids. I like yeah. the idea that it's like you could just let you could invite the kid who's sad to come play like the game with you. It's like no, no they're they're in the fucking way. <laughs> they're in the they're in the arena. No, get yeah, the fuck out of here. Well, you don't invite the sad kid to play with you because. You that's are why the sad kid. The sad, no, that's why they're on the sad oh. wall. Because nobody's inviting them to play a game with them. Nobody wants to talk <laughs> Keith, to them because nobody Keith likes tennis, them. Keith throwing tennis balls at them. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you don't like them. I mean, yeah. how many times have you been like, oh man, yeah, that kid, you know, he got picked on or whatever, but he sucks and he deserved it. 
Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, yeah was, many times. That's elementary. Yeah, that's elementary exactly. School. yeah, exactly. And the, uh, you know what that shouldn't have been tolerated? That. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> school is a prison planet. Hey, okay. You, yeah. well, you snowflakes. That's it why. Was. Our school would have been the prison planet that the Predator hunted on. <laughs> I mean, that pretty, that was also a game was at recess. Games. Yeah. Or, or, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I can't say names. Yeah. <laughs> That was um, our high school we went to. Uh, that was where the predator preyed on us. That's Amanda, <laughs> that's true, yeah, and that's, that's you can say that because that's public knowledge. True, yeah. Amanda was saying movie. that, or she would tell me that any time that you guys like we would go to like a River Run festival or some or like some sort of play, right? Like a group outing where all the schools would go to it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. All this, and then they would call all the schools' name, like, "Oh, your bus is Saint Peter's. Your bus is waiting, Saint." Judas, your your bus is waiting, um, and you would always know which one was our elementary school because when you say their buses, our bus is here, uh, blah blah blah, your bus is here, we would go fucking bananas. Yeah. <laughs> so man would be like, I always knew, we always knew which one was your school, or like we were always anticipating your school absolutely going fucking ape shit. Hell oh, yeah, right. Yeah, we're the only what is wrong it. with you guys? <laughs> Everybody else is like nice, well dude. behaved, and then yeah, you guys are just like <gasps> you just ape out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All the other schools are like orderly, like getting two by two, getting onto the bus, like thanking the bus driver. We're just it's just a pile. It's just a fucking smoke cloud of our school. <laughs> Get on the fucking bus, probably insult the bus driver somehow, and then get yourself to school. Get your ass back to school. Your ass back there. But the bus, I mean, that's the thing. I think it's because the bus rides were so much fun. Because we didn't, we, we were like, just excited to get back on the bus, you know? Yeah. It, I think it's literally seat. because it's like it, the bus was like recess, where it's like it was those places in between supervision of adults. Yeah. But the fucking adults were on the bus. Ah, they were like, yeah, yeah, but phones. they were shocked. Count, yeah. Dude, yeah. you're oh my god. I'm that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The <laughs> teachers at your school should be in jail, especially after that fucking Ottawa trip where oh, yeah. some kid bled out. Yeah. Bled out. That's all I don't know. See, that's the thing. I, that's the thing. I still look at back at that like, eh, he deserved it. He did see? deserve it though. See? That's oh a sad wall, kid. God. That's a sad. <laughs> that's a sad waller. Oh, I don't know dude. what to tell you. Oh my god! Dude. Look, in life, BC, there's those of us who sit at the sad wall, and there's those of us who play red butt and throw tennis balls at them. Okay, and which one are you going to be? That you're gonna is be on the sad uh, wall. Yeah, you're going to throw tennis balls at the kids at the sad wall. Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, I mean, it was a Catholic school, so yeah. you're right on the money there. We live in one big sad wall. The bus was exciting because you get to see which, pa- like, you get to see all sorts of patterns that other kids would burn into the back of the seats with lighters. True. Yeah, that's true. That right. was fun. You get to uh, open the window and then get yelled at. You know? <laughs> it's like because they always thought they were throwing shit out of it, but that's because they <laughs> did. Because probably oh, people yeah. were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I there's was... a in high school or not but uh we went to the rom i think it must have been high school and there's there's people throwing food at homeless people like that was to them that was in high school yeah and it was like a box i was old enough to i was old enough, it was people that were younger than us i was old enough to get pissed off i was like stop fucking throwing shit we were i remember we were all pissed off in the our uh our yeah, did you say anything i went up and i got my belt and i went yeah. Snapped it. Wow. Yeah, we did say so. We were like, "Fuck wow, off!" Because they're just sh- they're shitty little ninth graders who I loved yelling at. So it was like, "Fuck off!" That shit. They threw a box of Ritz crackers at a homeless guy. God. Yeah, that was fucked. Yeah, up. but now look at us. We're saying here, yeah, he deserved that. So, I didn't say that. Uh, well, no, I no. am. Yeah. One of the kids bled out. The kid that bled out, he deserved that. <laughs> but the 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 homeless guy, no. He doesn't get to. Deser- he, I mean, he what does. Deserve- he, do? he doesn't know us. No, he doesn't know that we weren't. Go- we we're gonna throw a thing at them. The people that go to the sad wall know what they're getting into. It's it's true. They know what's at what's being played at recess. They know how many minutes are left. Well, wait. Okay. Do Do you remember? I I don't know if I remember this rightly because it sounds kind of fucked up. 
when I'm okay. remembering it. But definitely true, probably then. <laughs> Didn't the teachers send people like when they were being bad to go sit at the red butt wall, knowing well, like knowing that we were that we would play red butt there and 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 hit people <laughs> with the ball. Like, didn't I swear people like if they oh you're being bad you have to go sit at the wall. <laughs> the you know what? They probably what most likely happened is that they would send kids to the wall, but they wouldn't know that that's the red butt wall. And most likely it became the red butt wall once people found out that kids were being sent to that wall and weren't allowed oh to move God. from Dude, the wall. That's so <laughs> fucked up. Dude, that's true. That yeah. is the weirdest, worst punishment dude being sending sent to kids wall. to the wall because uh-huh. that happened Dude. that happened in my school too you would send I don't know. Sent yeah. to the wall, but only by one teacher only one teacher would send you to the wall and you would know because there would be like four or five kids at the wall and it would be yeah. so funny running up to them and being like hey man what you do to get to sent to the wall like they were in like fucking giblet cages you know yeah, where it's like, like they're they're just them, <laughs> yeah. like they're being, or like you remember in uh uh the Planet of the Eight movie where Caesar's like on that stick thing, and he's like <laughs> yeah. tied up. It's kind of yeah. like that, and you're like running up to them, being like, "Hey, man, what'd you do to get sent to the wall?" <laughs> and you'd have to do it when the teacher wasn't looking, or he'd uh-huh. get mad at you and also make you stand at the wall, <laughs> a different part of the wall. But like eventually, like the wall's only so big, right? So you can only have some. You're not going to put all of us at the wall. But he would. He would though. He would send. He would send like there would be like groups of four of us on the wall, and we'd just be such shit disturbers. And for we would just for... like, and we would like leave or whatever. We'd like run away, and then other kids would be like, ah, "You were you? They they like, they would rat you out. They would rat you out." Great like, opportunity for red wall. butt though. Can you imagine the red butt game oh, with? No, everyone's line up on the wall. <laughs> That's oh why the God. the the wall was so close to like it was like on the pavement. Like the red butt wall for us was like the face of uh St. James. Like you know where yeah. that stairwell is with the weird pool glass? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we would play red butt, and that's okay. why the glass was always broken because somebody oh, really? whipped the, ball oh, okay. the glass and smashed the window. <laughs> or they would roof the ball, and if you roof the ball onto St. James, there was no you couldn't get it back. It was no, gone literally forever. There was no janitor getting up there <laughs> throwing balls. You down. are fucked. That is his ball now. Yeah, that that tennis ball is gone forever, dude. The danger zone. So red butt for us, it was we would. So there's the sad wall. And we throw the ball at the sad wall. But right behind, sort of like the back of the red butt sort of arena, was the basketball court where the older kids would be playing basketball. And if you let a tennis ball roll into the basketball court, it's going on the roof. So the danger, the sort of like fun factor of the game was (laughs) it was throwing. I mean, there's a lot of factors, right? It's not letting your ball get picked up by the grade eight and thrown off the roof. And not getting in trouble for whipping the tennis balls at the kids who are sad. Well, you see, when we were older and a ball would come towards us, we would always fake them out. Like, people wouldn't be, uh, you know, they wouldn't throw the ball on the roof or, like, kick it far away or whatever. Like, if the ball came close to them, they would, like, fake you out. And you'd, like, rush at it and then just, like, pass it, like, lightly pass it to them. See, rarely, that's, rarely. That requires too much thought of them, like... <laughs> Just Ooh, really so. like, no thought. Pick this up immediately. <laughs> immediately, roof it, dude. It's like uh, it's literally like chimpanzees, dude. Like, yeah. Just, yeah, it is. You reach mechanical. a certain age, it's just mechanical. You reach a certain age where like a ball would just roll to you and be like, me, pick Whoa. ball, throw, throw ball. Must I must pr- I have to prove to all the other chimps in the zoo how far I can throw this ball? I don't. I <laughs> my memory. I can't remember far enough to remember where the ball might come from that it might have come from another person who does want the ball in the moment in my peripheral all i can see is the ball and my only thought is how far can i throw this ball to impress impress a mate yeah and then you would pick up the ball it's like with primal mechanical tendencies dude and you would pick up instantly not thinking you just throw it onto the roof whatever dude Uh even if it was your buddy's ball and they're like dude what the fuck do you do that for and you're like i don't know i couldn't control myself it's it's i mean like psychologically it's the highest place so if you can do that you're showing everyone like look i i can throw it the highest i can throw it higher than you therefore i am a better person and man than you because i can throw it higher and it's also kind of like 
what is up there, you know? Like, so. I've seen the ball hit the wall and then fall back. Like, we've seen that. It's it's tripe. It's it's a tired sort of concept. But what if we threw the ball a bit higher? What what, what happens if we throw the ball up on the roof? Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, we just lose it and we don't, we don't get to fucking do anything for recess? Oh, okay. Well, that, at least... But at least the little kids that you got the ball from, they don't get to get the ball again. Now they know a danger, okay? they I put the fear of God in their eyes. That, that's more Catholic education than any religion class could ever teach a kid, you know? True. They should have, te- instead of, like, teaching kids that they'll go to hell if they sin, they should teach them that if they sin, uh, grade 8 will pick up their tennis ball and roof it. Which is worse than eternal damnation, because then you're just fucking bored at recess. And you don't even know what to do. Do you tell a teacher? If you tell a teacher the grade eight might kill you after school. Do you know uh-huh. my favorite part about telling a teacher that a ball got roofed? You run yeah. up and be like, oh, our ball's on the roof. And they would look at you and be like, <clears throat> yeah, maybe the janitor will be out today and bring it down. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, good luck. And then just yeah. walk away and you're like, fuck. Uh-huh. I think that means the ball's not, gone for that like, means until like Friday, it. I guess. Guess I'm not fucking getting it. We used to play this game at recess called, I don't even remember what we fucking called it. We probably called it like Ultimate Frisbee, ult, like Smash Bros or some shit, where we would play, we, someone would throw a Frisbee, and everyone would run and go get the Frisbee, but then you just have to tackle and wrestle the Frisbee from the other person, and whoever's yeah. just, whoever's the strongest gets the Frisbee. <laughs> so it's just, I hated that fucking game, dude. Yeah, we were just, playing something like that, too. But with it's like, just, just fucking... we had a Frisbee. <laughs> why we, why did we ever want to get the frisbee? I don't get the point. Why did we play that game? Prove that you're fun. stronger than the other person. Yeah. If you don't get the frisbee, then you're weak. Okay. Yeah, but then you just throw the frisbee. I think a lot of kid games are just like chimp logic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like the games I liked the most at the ki- as a kid were chimp logic and not like anything with structure. Uh, like I'd rather just fight than play grounders. Yeah, do you remember the zombies game we would play? We played where... a zombie. Yeah, we played a yeah. zombies game where Will you explain. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, okay. Well, like, so, yeah, some people were the people with guns, and yeah. some people were the zombies. And the zombies would have to try and tackle the people with guns. And once you did, they were a zombie. But the people that were zombies also like had to had to literally ragdoll like when they got shot, or else you weren't playing it right. Yeah. So, as as a zombie, you were basically just running around and fucking like tumbling to the floor, face planning yeah, to, be, I mean. to be a zombie. To be a zombie, because that's what zombies do. I remember like we used to have a rule. It was like, yeah, you'd have guns and you'd shoot the zombie, but then it was like it was too hard to keep track of like if that was accurate. And because people, you could just be like, I shot you, bam, I shot you, bam, I shot you. So like you never get anyone. So then it just became knives, which was just like everyone like swiping at each other. Yeah. <laughs> like, like basically slapping the shit out of each other. Basically, did we ever tell you about uh, uh, Yoshi Wars? <laughs> mm, yeah, I've heard about Yoshi Wars. Yoshi I Wars was just Yoshi Wars. Yoshi Wars was just chicken fights. Basically, it was just piggyback fights. But we weren't allowed to play. We'd always play it in the back corners of the field at our school so that we wouldn't get in trouble because we would go <laughs> fucking hard. And the the best thing about Yoshi Wars is that it had the fucking hardest falls. Because you're going down, like, yeah. two people are collapsing. Uh-huh. And it was awesome. It was a sight to see. Oh my god, it was so much You fun. guys did, like, <clears throat> brute zug-zug fighting and stuff. We had, uh, we had, like, intrigue and espionage <laughs> in our snow fort there, wars. There was structures and plot. We, and... we had, like, supply lines, dude. Oh, and we would circumstance. go in and steal from yeah, people that's... and we would overtake forts. Oh, I don't know. see that is amazing because like i don't know our our snow fight our snow like uh base fights and shit were not were not structured at all it was absolutely no. just the biggest kids run into the fort yeah <laughs> you get your shit rocked by the yeah kids, and then they steal your snow <laughs> the Dude, the great thing work? about it being an all ages game is that there was always someone smaller than you that you could steal from so there's always a hierarchy so it was very inclusive in that sense it was, yeah uh, you know what that honestly that that really 
basically taught taught us feudalism is that yeah. really because once you get old enough, you never really have to try and get your own snow. You can just go and take it from someone else. Exactly. And even if you're still getting your shit taken by an older kid, you can still like, okay, well, we're gonna have to build a new oh, base. Even now. smaller kid. Yeah, take theirs. No, from those small kids. That's the beauty of it. Exactly. I think. I think more teachers should incorporate the fucking violent games you play at recess into lessons. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't happen a lot. Like I feel. I, I feel wonder like, why. <laughs> like. I feel like the whole red butt sad wall thing would be a good like sociology lesson. I don't I don't know what specifically about, but I'm sure there's something there. I'm sure there's something to seek sink your teeth. That's into. what my sociology thesis is about. The sad, the sad wall, wall and its effect butt. on society. Yeah. <laughs> the sad wall. Okay. It's a conflict theory and the sad wall at my school. Yeah. How the sad wall is aided society. <laughs> One time I convinced Amanda that we had a like a pep rally at our school where people that did like the squirrel, like flying squirrel flight suits jumped off the roof of our school and like gl- glided over us. And, like, yeah, yeah from fucking shit. 50 feet in the <laughs> air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they glided down. Okay, <laughs> bud. I was but so she proud. believed me too. I was so Why proud would of you that. lie to her about that? <laughs> so I, was, I was like, I wonder. Is that it's not funny? It is funny. Yeah. Can you imagine though if they did that? <laughs> That'd be a good yeah. pep rally, but like Jesus, yeah, oh yeah, anti bullying. They do yeah. flight suits off the school, off the roof. Uh, every, every school needs a bigger pep rally budget. <laughs> Jump hope for heart can suck my fucking ass. Where's the guys doing glide suits off the roof of a school? Let's see that in action. Exactly. Finally, uh, Basie, where can people jump rope for our hearts? Uh. <clears throat> Oh yeah, jump rope for heart dot com. Please no, don't go there. Donating, don't, 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 don't donate, go there. donate, donate. According to God, you can win, win like a mini fridge and like uh, a chicken that's a slingshot. Yeah, and you can win a, a box of chocolates. Yeah, uh, if you just get the box of chocolates and you just eat all of them, like it's okay. You can just do that. My mother always said life was like a box of chocolates. Why would you say that? That's crazy. She, Disgusting. Is some of them good. Dude, some of them bad. Did you some have good, a some bad? Bruce, <laughs> did you have a kid at your school who would just like fucking dominate the magazine drive or like whatever drive you're doing? Like, yeah, dude, yeah, they would cheat. Me. What's up with that? That's that's insanity. I'll be honest, it it does feel like it was someone whose like parents was a boss at work and was like, yeah. I don't know, made, made everyone at at their work buy that shit. Yeah, fuck, and they, fuck any kid, their... yeah, who had that happen. Everybody so. at their work would just buy it, and then they would just like, sell boxes and boxes of chocolates, and they would win the big prizes. And you're like, "What the fuck, man?" Cool, awesome. Bullshit. You're yoga. And then, and then you realize that it's all literally a scam. It's a scam to get kids to sell chocolate for you because you don't get any of the money. The kids shit. don't get any money. No, you got a. They get cool uh, little prizes. You got a it's cup and ball, up. so it's, it's not illegal. No, you got a frisbee that lights up. What if you don't? Literally, what if you don't sell enough to get a prize? You're still selling them. What if you sell some <laughs> and you don't get a prize? Then what? Uh, I'm sure you literally have to pay the money up up front either. first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to pay like forty bucks. Just if they so, charged. They charged at alone, the door. Dude. They charged at the door for the pep rally. Everyone's going into the gym. <laughs> the guy oh, just dude, has his hand out. I was told all the time. It's like any that you don't sell, you have to pay for. So you have to sell all of them. Or you buy them. And I'm like, what the fuck kind of... What? I was like, I just want some chocolates, man. It's some bullshit, <laughs> I think that more schools should start having the collection plate be passed around during like high school mass <laughs> or elementary school mass. Yeah, elementary school mass would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> People, just like buttons and lint being put into the collection plate. Goldfish that are all like crushed up in some kids' overalls. Oh, cool! Awesome. I We're gonna save. Like, take from it, also. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's, that would that would make it to one kid, <laughs> and that that collection play is being stolen. <laughs> it's being ransacked, <laughs> especially in high school. The high school we went to, no, you you are losing money. Uh-huh. Do not put that collection play out. Um. Anyways, you can actually find us on Instagram and Spotify and iTunes and YouTube. And everywhere 
where you can listen to someone talk about animals and elementary school church for an hour um and yeah we'll uh we'll see you guys next week march and what are we talking about next week um we're discussing the theory behind only fans nfts that's just wor- I, I say this a lot after things that people say hey, but save the discussion that's just words week. that's just words Save the discussion for next week. Thank you. Like a, the trial like of Gislaine Maxwell continues next week. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time. You see her fat tits, though? Stop. <laughs>